Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to modeling and animate this scene with Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So first step, let's go to objects and select this cube. Then go to here, select this subdivision surface and select this cube, move to inside this subdivision surface. Then select this cube and go to click make editable and let's click this icon edge and right mouse select this loop pad cut let's add one cut here one here and one here and one here okay then let's click this icon move tool and select this icon let's select this part and hold control move to left okay let's again hold control move to left and click scale tool let's scale like this and click again move tool and move to left okay then let's click scale tool and scale object like this and go to here select this wrenchel selection and click these points let's select these points and move to right and these points move to right okay nice then go to click move tool and click this icon and select this part again hold control move to right and move to down okay then click this icon right mouse select this loop path cut again let's add one cut here and one here okay then click this icon go to select move tool and let's select here and this part hold control move to right and move to down okay nice then click scale tool and scale like this okay not bad let's click move tool and select these parts let's move to up and select these parts hold shift and select these parts okay and let's move to down okay not bad then when we selected these parts go to click scale tool and hold control scale like this and click move tool let's hold control and move to down okay let's move to down like this and click scale tool let's scale okay click this icon and click move tool right mouse select this loop path cut let's add one cut here okay not bad so click these points go to here select this wrenchel selection and select these points let's click scale tool and scale like this okay not bad so again click this icon click move tool and right mouse loop path cut and let's add one cut here okay nice I like it so click this icon and click move tool for done edit and let's select this subdivision surface click this icon this is anchor point select this enable axis and move to down this axis for create animation then again click this icon for close and let's click this icon change width let's go to front and let's click this rotate tool click this icon for create keyframe 
and go to 10k frame let's hold shift and change rotation like this okay and click this icon for save or animation keyframe let's see okay and go to here make new again rotation keyframe like this and go to 30 keyframe and select this first keyframe ctrl c and go to here ctrl v okay nice let's see so select this keyframe, move to right, and this move to right. Let's see. Okay, so let's click move tool and click this icon. Go to perspective. Let's see. Okay. So let's add bones effect for this animation. Go to here and select this jiggle. Select this jiggle again, move to inside our cube. And let's see we have problem let's solve it select this jiggle and let's change sweetness move to right and this strange move to left let's say again okay nice let's move to left again this strange let's see Okay, not bad. Nice bones effect. So, let's go to again objects. Let's create new shape. New plane. And move to down. Click scale tool. Change scale. Like this. And click move tool. Let's move to up. And click play. Okay, let's move to down. Let's see. Okay. Let's move to down again. Nice. So let's change these keyframes 60 and click in there for loop animation. So let's go to shapes and let's select this cylinder, move to down and move to left. Let's press S for zoom object. Then let's change scale. Okay, change segments 10 and change radius like this. Okay, press S again. So, then hold Control, move to up for duplicate, and change radius, and change height. Okay, move to up, and change radius again, and select these two cylinders and right mouse let's add group or alt g and select this new move to down and move to here let's move to right this timeline okay let's select the scale and change scale okay and move to here nice and let's move to back move to up this object then go to here go to 1k frame let's back to 1k frame and select this new click this icon for create keyframe for this object okay and go to two keyframe one two and let's move to down click this icon for save or keyframe 
move to up again click this icon let's see okay and go to again 1k frame let's move to down okay click this icon for save or animation keyframe go to again 1k frame let's move to down again click this icon go to again 1k frame okay let's see animation click this icon for back to first second let's see okay nice so in this time let's go to here make new keyframe for this null and go to here select first keyframe ctrl c and go to here ctrl v nice this is for loop animation let's see click this icon for back to first second and let's see so let's go to create and new material or control n and let's select color like this click x and select this cube and go to select this range of selection select this icon and select these parts and hold shift select these parts okay let's click move tool let's unselect this and again hold shift unselect this, these parts and these parts so let's select this material and use for these parts nice let's go to display click wireframe okay nice let's select this material hold ctrl move to right for duplicate and let's select next color we need to chrome material so let's select this cube select this go to selection range of selection and select this parts and click move tool let's unselect these parts okay nice and let's use this material again select this hold control move to right and select this new material red and select these parts and use this material in these parts okay nice so click this icon and let's see click this play so cool very funny animation so select this material and let's use for this null okay let's see again nice so let's go to render settings and click effect let's add ambient occlusion and again go to effects add global elevation and change render physical click x and go to this icon click this physical sky and click render okay not bad select this material hold control move to right and let's use for this plane and select this material again change color blue let's click render so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck